to show a couple techniques. The one I want to do is how I throw punches uh, here in TFS. Um, come on in here. Um, how we throw punches. I never really throw a punch. We don't. We never. We don't really ever work from this pit position where we're ready to fight. Because if I get my students in the habit of, all right, I'm ready to fight. This is how we're going to throw down. I've already kind of stopped them from the whole defense or and no one's ever this way anyway. No one goes, hey man, I don't want to fight you. And they don't stand like this. Matter of fact, the fights ever very rarely ever start like this unless you're in a combat sport or anything like that where you're able to throw your hands up like this. It actually starts out more like this. Where you like this? What's up, man? You want to go? You know, you start getting into a shoving match. You start getting into be, just being macho. But in TFS, when I teach them, I tell them to get back room, get distance, because you, you don't want to make the mistake. The first mistake is letting them in. Second mistake, keeping them there because you want to be macho. The third mistake is you're not watching, getting focused in too much into one area. And if you're up that close, basically what you're doing, you're trying to do this stare down thing. It's stupid. So what you want to do is you want to try to gain your distance. Best way to do your distance is get your hands up. In the UK, they call this the fence. I just, you know, I've always seen it as a defensive posture. At the same time, though, this is also my offensive posture. Why? Because I can spare him in his eyes. I can, I can do different things. However, from here, if I'm going to throw my punch, if I'm going to throw a punch, I step here, I throw a punch, and I'm going to turn my body. Boom! See what I'm doing? I'm going to throw my hip in. Boom! Here. Okay? So I'm here, and I don't want to... Bah! So I'm going to do this. And then if I turn my hip here, this one comes in right here. So immediately, I'm going to be like, hey, I don't want to... Bah! And I already got these two shots. Both of them hit. Okay? Now, the reason why I don't mind turning this hip here... Because one, turning that hip here gives me that force I need to generate here so I don't have to pull this hand back and so I can still stay a little bladed. A lot of MMA guys still like to box up because it gives them that turn for each shot. But it also presents the target. And that might be good if you're bass rooting or boss rooting and you're a big bad dude already. But see you're not a big bad dude like me. I'm not a big bad dude. So I don't teach people how to do that because I don't, I, I don't want to present myself as someone that wants to get hit. Instead, I want to present myself as, give them as little targets as I can, but still having proper body mechanics. So when I throw this punch, the other reason why I do this punch is because the twist is because it also works when I step. So I can step towards my opponent and be like, hey, and if I'm having to, if I have to step towards them, Boom, I can still do it. I can still turn, boom. And guess what? I step, and as I stepped, I turned my hip. Okay? So I can go, boom, here. Okay? So now I can take ground. So, but it also works for the elbow. So either way I look at it, these are going to work for each of my tools. So for the punch, Turn that hip, and we go out, okay? Nice and loose. Snap at the end, because I want to go about three inches past. So I want to just stay here. And if I am in a combat sport, I do want to face off with my opponent here. Same thing, okay? So I don't know how other people do it, but I make sure my hip shoots out. As my hands come in, I kind of try to do it within milliseconds of each other, whether it's the hand going first or the hip going first. To me, it doesn't matter as long as they both get there. Uh, attempt to do these things, just try to train that, just try to chain that hip, and it's pivoting on that foot, okay? Pivoting on either foot, making it that way. Um, so again, uh, try that out. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a chance, just try to watch your body in the mirror. See if your hips are doing it. But until next time, we'll see you then, okay? Train smart.